Hello, everybody out there in YouTube land. Good times for all. There's Zachary Zabala here, if you prefer. In this video, we're going to explain um, what we're doing here. And um, this is just a very rough start, folks. What we have is a bucket of ice water. Okay? This is a little too warm to be touching right now. Um, this is one of these turned over. It has one of these in the bottom of it upside down in the ice. It is held up. Oh, it's held open right now. So, and that hose is coming out right here and it runs up to this pressure reading gauge right here. Which as you can see is right at about three. And this one is right at about, it's under two and a half, almost a two. What I've done is I've taken this heating gun up to 800 degrees, and then we have the bucket of ice water at the bottom, and I'm changing the temperature, hopefully, at both ends. So we have the cold at the bottom and the heat at the top. And what we're finding is that we're getting a little bit more pressure on the bottom. Just a hair, possibly. What we really need is another one of these gauges right here. Um, now, in, in fact, these gauges may not be 100% accurate. They're old, some of them are sticky. So this is really just a rough start, folks. This may not actually be doing what it looks like it appears to be doing. But that one's at about two. We need this one. Oh, it appears it's, it's at about three. So we have, you know, we need better equipment. But I think we can get pressure change from one gradient to another inside a sealed container. Um, there is definitely a huge heat swing that we have here on Earth. As you go up, it gets much colder, and then it starts getting warmer again. They say much, much warmer. The highest I've seen, it still only gets like to 7 degrees, but it was negative 65 at one point, and then it starts warming up. So, so I started, instead of doing the heat on the bottom and the cold on the top, I did the heat on the top and the cold on the bottom. And we're just... This is trial number one you're seeing right here. So I'm really just throwing this out here so um, other people can maybe try it or give me some ideas to make it better, really. Um, I've shared this with the guys over at Iron Realm and um, we're going to be talking about it here this weekend, Friday. Maybe we'll do a uh, live test, see if we can maybe find some some other gauges or something like that. and. Uh, get this thing really dialed in. Maybe get a bigger container. Um, but yeah, we had to weld that on there. We welded a couple washers so we could then uh, put some threads in it so then we could screw that into it and then that. Um, now I'll show you as uh, that they're connected. I'll show you right here. I'm going to open this and it's still at three, as you can see. Hard to tell. But as I open this and let this out, this one's going to go down as well. So that's at zero. Come on. Still a little bit of pressure in there. Close that off. But yeah, this one even hasn't gone all the way down to zero either. There's the zero there, as you can see. And then um, when we fill it up, I'll show you real quick. What I'm going to do is blow air up into here. Um, 
Hold on one second. I can't really do this while I'm showing you. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll show you me. But we uh, turn the air here. Open it up. And I'll put it up to, we'll say, six pounds on the bottom one. Okay. And as you can see, we're up a little bit over six here. It appears to be almost seven here. That's right at six. So yeah, folks, there, there may be, I mean, I really need, they were reading the exact same when um, it was just air in the can. But I know this isn't, we're gonna be doing the whole thing this Friday. This is just showing you the idea of it all and the setup. So uh, that's it, I'm gonna get going. Um, Please leave any comments or ideas on how to make this better in the comment section below. Shout out to A. McKenzie for the awesome weld job that he did on top. Um, and for supplying all the parts and pieces. Much appreciated, brother. So yeah, um, good times for all here. Signing out. As always, thanks for watching.